Hello everybody and here I am again sitting in my poetry box. Now what does that mean? Ha! It means I'm going to recite another poem for you and today I'm going to recite another one by A. A. Milne. Yes, he's one of my favourites and Mrs. Waters and this one today is about bears. Yes, bears. Ooh, I'm not sure I like bears. But anyway, this is a great poem and it's a game. I used to play this when I was little. It's called Lines and Squares. And what happens is when you go for a walk in a street, there might be flagstones on the floor and no, big pieces of stone which are rectangles and squares so it looks like there are lines on the floor a bit like a chessboard really anyway when you walk down the street you're not to tread on the lines you listen to this poem and see what happens are you ready off we go Whenever I walk in a London street, I'm ever so careful to watch my feet and I keep in the squares and the masses of bears who wait at the corners all ready to eat the sillies who tread on the lines of the street go back to their lairs. And I say to them, bears, just look how I'm walking in all the squares. And the little bears growl to each other, he's mine, as soon as he's silly and steps on a line. And some of the bigger bears try to pretend that they came round the corner to look for a friend. And they try to pretend that nobody cares whether you walk on the lines or squares. But only the sillies believe their talk. It's ever so important how you walk. And it's ever so jolly to call out, Bears! Just watch me walking in all the squares. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Next time you walk down the street with flagstones, see if you can stay inside the squares and rectangles. Don't step on a line or a bear might get you. <laughs> I'm only joking. There aren't any bears hiding round corners, are there? They're just in zoos in this country. Yes, so you don't need to be scared of bears. So talking of zoos, I think A.A. Milne wrote a poem about a zoo. Maybe I'll do that next time. Bye! Oh, don't forget, if you've any requests, just message me and I'll recite your poem for you, or even make one up. 